Hello everybody and welcome to the Bobcat Broadcast. My name is Riley Pafrath and I will be your COVID correspondent. If this is your first time tuning into the show, I would like to welcome you to the Bow Valley's world-renowned Bobcat Broadcast. Designed to bring you Bobcats some uplifting and heartwarming stories from around the community. We have been receiving some amazing feedback from the community members all over Cochrane including an article on the Cochrane Now website. And I'm never one to disagree with the media, so I've officially changed my name from Riley to Riley. But really, we wanted to thank those community members for all the positive feedback because truly, it just shows that these heartwarming stories do have a place to go and people are enjoying them and tuning in. And I hope they tune in for more episodes with some heartwarming content. First off, we wanted to highlight our Instagram page, Bobcat underscore leadership, and their week of Instagram spirit challenges. And after many amazing submissions of quality content, a winner has finally been drawn. Can I get a drum roll, please? And it's our very own Connor Stead. Let's see what it took to get him to the top. Nice work, Connor. Now, last week we asked for your best pet photos and clearly there has been a lot of love for our pet friends. We've been overwhelmed by the avalanche of pictures of all your furry little guys. Who knew we had so many crazy cat ladies at Bow Valley? We had so many submissions, in fact, that we could have done a complete episode just showcasing your pets. But here are just a few of the best ones. Our Bobcats continue to be busy in the community as ever, and during this episode, we wanted to highlight some more Bow Valley good news. So, let's get to the good news. Many in our community have been inspired to give back by creating beautiful sidewalk art and even paintings. We see more and more people each day giving back by creating and painting rocks with messages of hope from around Cochrane with countless different messages of goodwill being spread around our community. Now, if that doesn't show the spirit of our community, I don't know what does. Bobcats continue to give back to Cochrane in times of need. One family has helped package and deliver over 100 boxes of fresh fruits and vegetables, volunteering for Community Kitchen Calgary, where volunteers deliver boxes to families around Cochrane, aiming to bring affordable healthy foods to local families. What a great and easy way to give back to the community and kudos to those volunteers. Now, we wanted to highlight the work already underway by our very own Bobcat, Georgia Powers. Georgia has been busy writing and collecting letters that encourage healthcare workers and frontline workers throughout Cochrane. Georgia has already organized and sent out more than a hundred thank you letters to these hardworking frontline workers. For more on that story, I actually conducted an interview with Georgia herself. Let's see it and learn more about Cochrane Community Cares. Okay, so welcome to the Bobcat Broadcast, Georgia. Uh, we brought you on here to talk a bit about some projects that you're doing in town here. Um, so tell us, uh, tell the viewers of the Bobcat Broadcast exactly what you've been up to. All right, um, so I started a little initiative called Cochrane Community Cares. So the idea of it is to thank all of our frontline workers who are working really, really hard to keep everything moving as it would if there was no pandemic. So they're putting themselves at risk just so we can stay home, be comfortable, and keep on keeping on. Oh, yeah. No, that sounds, uh, that sounds awesome. So you've been, like, writing and getting other people to, like, create, uh, like, what sort of things are you creating to... Uh, say thank you to these frontline workers. Well, I set up a uh, post office box so that people can send in letters and artwork from wherever they might be living in Cochrane just so that we can consolidate them in one place before they're given out to these frontline workers. So that's a way that everyone can get involved. You can be five years old or 76, I think, is the oldest person I've gotten a letter from <laughs> so far. 
Yeah, you can address them to uh, Cochrane Community Cares, P.O. Box 1635, T4C 1B5. Okay. And uh, what exactly, uh, I know you talked a bit on it, uh, just saying like how hard our frontline workers are uh, working currently, but like what exactly spurred you to start this initiative? Well, I was just kind of sitting at home and I thought it, like I get to sit at home and just do schoolwork all day and there's other people that are risking their health and safety so that I can do that. So I just wanted to find a way to thank them. Oh, that's so awesome to hear. Such a great initiative in town. And um, yeah, and like like you said before, what can our uh, viewers do to uh, help out this initiative? So, that, so what was that uh, PO box again that they can send things to? So it's a, you can address it to Cochrane Community Cares, P.O. Box 1635 at T4C 1B5. Okay. And what exactly would they be sending? Like, give us an example sort of thing. Lots of people have made um, homemade thank you cards, and lots of the younger participants have made some really nice drawings uh, specific to who the cards are going to. So that was really, really cool to see. Just a little thank you note can go a really long way. Okay, that's awesome to hear. Yeah, no, and I'm, uh, yeah, so thank you so much for uh, talking to me. I just wanted to ask a few simple questions. Is there any last minute things you wanted to talk about? Or, I'll uh, just one more thing, sure. just so that everyone can uh, keep up with what's going on. I have Instagram and Facebook pages, both at Cochrane Community Cares, no spaces. Okay, yeah, that's no, we can uh, grab some links from you and put them in the description as well. Yeah, awesome. so uh, thank you so much, Georgia. That's awesome, awesome initiative uh, that you guys are starting over there. And I hope that all of our viewers at home can send in some letters and some thank yous to our frontline workers. Thanks. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Wow. Thank you, Georgia, for that great work. I'm truly inspired to make my own letters and send them to you because it's just such an awesome, uh, awesome thing to do in the community. One more example of Bobcats giving back. But before we go any further, I believe it's time to get a weather update. Now, let's see who has the weather for us today. Wow. We got the mayor? And owner of Coffee Traders? Wow, speaking of excellence in the community, there's your example right there. Thank you, Mayor Janung. I truly appreciate it. Nice to see you. Hey, Bow Valley. Mayor Jeff Janung here with today's weather. Uh, as I look outside, it's uh, partly cloudy. It's also partly sunny. Why don't we just say there's a 100% chance of spring for the next week? Hope you guys are all staying safe. Take care. Wow. Well, you heard it here first, first folks. Uh, the, our very own Cochrane Mayor has just given us the weather. It's truly an honor to share the screen with you. Thank you, Mayor Janum. Now, another Bobcat using her talents to good use is that of Mrs. Andrews, who has been working to encourage her friends and neighbors during this time. She has already delivered more than two dozen handmade cards to people in the community, including students and staff of Bow Valley High School. And delivering fresh bread? Oh. She's now actually turning her attention to delivering bread and masks to those who need a little encouragement in their life. You already know that I'm putting in an order for some fresh bread, because man, that looks delicious. One thing we say at Bow Valley is once a bobcat, always a bobcat. And Bow Valley grads have taken what they've learned here at Bow Valley and continue to give back in all sorts of communities. One of these great grads is Madison Nagel, class of 2014. Madison had just finished her teaching degree when the COVID-19 virus struck. But that, is not that has not stopped her from helping kids around the community learn. So she has created a YouTube channel to read to her young students under the name Love to Learn. What an amazing initiative that not only gives back to children in the community, but also sets them up for success in the future. Amazing work. Now, in the wild world of sports, many sports have been shut down, but 
That has not stopped us at the Bobcat Broadcast from delivering you the best sports news we can. So we have searched far and wide for the greatest stories in sports. Let's pass it over to our sports desk commentator, smooth as silk, Groovy Gerhardy. Groovy, what's new in the world of sports? Uh, my name's Tanner. All right, Groovy, whatever you say. Now, take it away! Whew. Whew, there was some heat to that pitch. Hey there, sports fans. We've got some great highlights for you. First up is legendary Mr. Richard. Richard has been used to dominating high school sports for years, but has now resided to tearing up the T-Ball League. Here's a highlight photo where he crushed a group of three-year-olds with a grand slam. Take a look at the side-by-side -side comparison as well-known player Bautista tries to mimic Richard's signature move. Bo Valley continues to develop its prowess in the sporting community and was recognized at the divisional awards that were given out. First in the lineup, we got the powerful powerhouse of the Powers family. Is that it? Is that the bit? Who wrote that? It sucks. Starting off with the All-Star Awards, we've got Junior Varsity Girls, Josie Powers, and the Junior Varsity Boys, Ethan Horb and Paula Cuesta. Then for the Varsity Girls, we've got Georgia Powers and Natasha Boyvenu, and Varsity Boys, we've got Ethan Crawick. And for our VS's Defensive Player of the Year, we have Michaela Murphy. Yes, the same Michaela Murphy we highlighted last episode for making fidget blankets for seniors. What an incredible haul for our Bobcat basketball team. Lastly, from the eSports world of gamers, we also want to highlight one of our own who has distinguished himself. You may have seen him on the leaderboards for Xbox Monopoly and even crushing students in the deep history surrounding Modern Warfare 2. We are, of course, talking about reigning eSports champion, Mr. Ho. Well, that's all for sports. Back to our COVID correspondent, uh, Riley Pafrath. Now, each episode, we want to highlight a few links to like. So, to start us off, we have our very own Bow Valley Leadership Instagram page, at Bobcat underscore Leadership. As well, Bow Valley has its very own wellness Instagram linked right there. And I hope that each of those pages bring a little spark into your life as Bobcats. During this weird time in education, all teachers miss teaching their kids in person. And they want to express this, this longing for teaching in person to their students in fun and creative ways. So Glembo teachers have done a parade for Glembo kids. And now let's take a look at some of this video footage. But not to be outdone, the Fireside teachers have also created a video. And as well, we will have in just a moment our very own great grad, Josh Crucial, to play us out. But before we get there, I want to tell you a little secret about the next Bobcat broadcast. It's already on the way. We're working to make it come to all of you amazing Bobcats. But first, we have a challenge. So, for all of those who are currently working during these times, whether that's frontline worker, grocery store worker, or even working at A&W and that sort of thing, we want you to send us pictures of you in your uniform or your parents in their uniform as a way to commemorate and thank you and honor you all for keeping us safe, keeping us fed. And now I wanted to thank you all for tuning in to the Bobcat broadcast. And to play us out, again, graduating class of 2017, Josh Crucial. Thank you all, Bobcats. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and send it around to all your friends because we want to show these heartwarming stories to all walks of life around town. Now, thank you again, 
Remember folks, wash those hands. I've been Riley Paffrath, your COVID correspondent, and I hope you all have wonderful days. Two, one, two, three, four.